What your poop says about your health, what causes watery poops? Well, one of the most common causes for a watery stool and diarrhea could be viruses. And one telltale sign is usually there is some upset stomach, there's maybe some nausea if you have fallen ill with a virus. And this is quite common to have that watery poop. Now, other organisms can cause this problem as well. So most common parasites, and of course, depending on the type of parasite that you may have picked up, there is a different waiting period between having that exposure and having that watery diarrhea. So one of the most common travel diarrhea types of parasites is called cyclospora. And typically there's no pain associated with this type of di diarrhea or watery poop. And it, there's usually about a 10 to 14 day incubation period between actually having the exposure and having that watery diarrhea. Now this can come and go and that's why I'm a big proponent if you are getting rid of parasites, doing a parasite cleanse, and of course doing it naturally. I've got other videos on how to do that, that you are doing it in a phase cycle way. So you're actually taking the parasite cleanse for a period of time, then you're going to take a break because these bugs have this incubation period and they can sort of replicate again through their life cycle that you want to sort of kill them off in stages. So I've got other videos on how to do that. If you do have questions, make sure you drop them in the comments section below. Another common parasite which you may pick up when you travel but you can pick it up wherever you are in the world as well is called crypto. Oh, it's not Bitcoin. Uh, but this is cryptosporidiosis and it causes fever as well as nausea. And you may lose some weight with this type of parasite. So this is very common. And again, very important to be able to kill off some of these less favorable organisms. Some bacteria, commonly E. coli, C. difficile, and even salmonella, the good old food poisoning, can cause these watery poops as well. So in terms of how, what do we do about these things, what would be a great protocol? Well, doing regular parasite cleansing is very important, and there are specific herbal medicines, which I share in other videos, which are really good at targeting different types of parasites and eliminating them from your body, as well as using digestive enzymes, which I love. They help to weaken the parasites, candida as well, and that can be very effective at getting rid of your parasites as part of that parasite protocol. And also getting those toxins out of your body. So if you do have chronic you know, issues with digestion, you're always checking with your practitioner. At the same time, it's a good idea to do a full body detox at least a few times a year, along with that parasite cleanse to get rid of you know, all of those toxins associated with those parasites and those less favorable bugs in your system as well. So today I talked all about what your poop says about your health, what causes a watery poop. I hope you've got some questions or comments for me. Please drop it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.